Tom, you just bought a rather exceptional coin. Can you tell me about this piece of mismatics? Uh, yes, I bought a 1943 copper penny. It's uh, one of only 10 to 15 known. Uh, it's, it's something that's it's a class, classic numismatic item, uh, arguably the best uh, mint error of the 20th century, the one that the public is, never mind just coin collectors, that there's millions of people are, around the country that have, have heard of it because they think they have a copper they think they have a copper penny when it's actually, in fact, they have a steel penny. Um, you know, as it's, it's well known that the, the uh, steel pennies were used, steel was used to make pennies in 1943 because of the efforts of the, of, needed for the efforts of the war, World War II, and on, only a very few, uh, like I say, 10 to 15 are known. Um, so it's, it's something that's known just, not just among coin collectors, but everyone has heard of it. How on earth did something like this get out of the mint? Well, it's it's a good question. There were some some uh, some blanks from uh, from the previous year that were in with the, the copper ones, and a very few got out. Uh, it was first discovered um, a few years after that by a kid who got it for his lunch money, um, and it really wasn't that well known among even the numismatic uh, numismatics in general until the first one that appeared in auction was in uh, like 25 years later. Um, so it's, 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 a, it's a rare coin. Uh, it's, all, it's increased in value pretty steadily throughout the years. And what kind of value now? Uh, well, we, we pay close to 200,000, so we'll be asking a profit, something over 200,000.